1.9 at fucking 12.30. Then he got more difficult, but on his way up, I bet he was just like, hey, great, great to be here, fucking, he was Jay Leno, somewhat, like, meeting the affiliates, all that shit, and then, and then eventually you just get like, oh, if I yell for Argentinian food, they'll actually bring it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If I bang, yes. Ex- I like, wanted fucking fish and chips. Yes. Sorry, Dave. Yeah, sorry, Dave. And then that, that's like, and then comics go, yeah, he's a fucking maverick. He doesn't take shit from anybody. He's fucking holding Caulfield and he's fucking out there in the world. And if I don't act like that, I'm a phony. Kevin thinks that like you're a phony if you don't dump your personality at people's feet. And it's like, dude, you, there are people, let's say we're all relatively in the same level of talent. I'd rather have somebody uh, that's not negative next to me. I don't want negative energy. And I had this talk with uh, Patrice as well. Like, I was doing a pilot, and I wanted Patrice to be in it. Me and Dove Davidoff and Patrice, and, or, and we wanted Patrice to be in it. And so I called Patrice, and I go, are you going to be a dick? And he's like, Neil, how the fuck are you going to call me, ask me if I can be a dick? Motherfucker, we haven't talked in two years, all this shit. And then we yell at each other. I wish I'd recorded it, because it was just two fucking guys that love arguing. <laughs> two hours later... He goes, you know what? I can't promise you I'm not going to be a dick. He's like, I can't promise. And I go, yeah. I was like, Patrice, you can be a street legend all you want. You want to be the man of goat? You, you want to be, be the goat? Do you want to be Rucker Park? Yeah. Do you want to be great in the play Rucker, but you can't play fucking big organized ball? You want to be skipped to Malou and fucking choke coaches and all that Escalade! shit? Yeah. Escalade! Escalade! Yeah. You want to be the fucking professor? You or do you want to be, be these... Pooh Richardson yeah. or do you want to be a three guy? Yeah. For being Menza yeah. Menza. Yeah, exactly. Or you can fucking make it in the league and... Also, you Skip have to, be- to yeah, you have to believe when you're being a glad, not a glad, just a decent human being, that you're not a bitch for being it because you want to be a real dickhead. You want to be holding coffee. And you're a phony. You're a phony. But you, look, man, we're all phonies right. somewhat. And in let's a public all setting. sell out together. Yes, in relatively the same <clears throat> period of time. Let's all yes. go up a couple yeah, notches. Yeah, let's not embarrass ourselves. Seinfeld yes. and Larry David went up at the yes. same time. You know, they brought a little yes. crew with them. Yeah. And that, yeah. And people, I bet comics think Larry David is is like his character in uh, in Curb, where it's like, I won't do that. You know, the story about Larry David, he went on stage, saw the audience, was like, fuck you guys, and left. <laughs> he just didn't like the audience one night at the improv, saw him, and goes, forget this, and walked out. And comics probably think, that's how you can be. Meanwhile... Larry David, from what I gather, is a very sweet guy, and yeah. I'm sure he's a very professional guy. So being professional is not being a bitch. So so I have this argument with Patrice, calls me back a couple months later and goes, you know what, man? You were dead right. I did a pilot. Some kid came in. He was funny, but he was just giving me energy. And I knew, he's like, when it's your shit, you don't want negative energy around because it's so hard to get your fucking idea across and then you got this motherfucker who you know is sort of like, huh, about your shit, and you just don't want it around, no matter how talented they are. Right. It's like, Patrice auditioned for Everybody Hates Chris, and Rock said, like, dude, you are my dad. <laughs> but I just don't, you're just not prepared. Like, he just wasn't, he just kind of half-assed it and was a shitty, he shitty. He turned down the office because he said, and I quote, I don't know, man, I just. Picture being on set and fucking BJ Novak looking at me. That's <laughs> no, it. Absolutely. That's the entire yeah. quote. Not BJ Novak, who I have a problem with because he called me something and right. him and I butt heads creatively. I hate the I idea just, of BJ Novak getting successful in this show. Look, I don't even yeah. want to be on the same property. And I had to explain to Patrice, I said, You're the unicorn. You're the guy that can leave and do stand up. You're the anomaly. They're right. actors and they wish they could do what you do. And he goes, I don't know. Maybe you're right. Yeah. You, uh, we have to talk about Chappelle's show. Yeah. Um, I, I'd rather not. No, that's when people go, hey, do you mind if we talk about it? I'm like, do I mind? What else? <laughs> that's kind of, yeah. What else do you want to talk? I, it's like, it's, so you flew one of the planes on 9-11. Do you mind talking about it? No, yeah, I'll go ahead and talk about it. You know, I'm doing a lot of work with boxer rescues. <laughs> no, exactly. Uh, maybe, well, that's you know, what we're I'm saying. saving great days That's what I say. Like when people, it's like, please don't call me Bobby. Call me Robert. It's like just yeah no Chappelle show it's significant I it's what people are interested in. Well then I'm glad I said we have to instead of may we. No, yeah. Um, what the fuck happened? Uh, <laughs> does it? <laughs> uh, I mean, there I'll just lay it at your feet. Uh, you know, it was a uh, it was a good time, and then it just got a little got a little hot. Was it all right? I understand. There's still moving pieces in play. Right. Was was there an environment 
is Dave, when you know everything that you know, and right. you and Dave being best friends, is Dave a sympathetic character in this, or is Dave a guy that kind of short circuited and went ape op or and just fucking split? Or is it somewhere, uh, is it a shade of gray? Yeah, it's definitely gray. Because for $50 million, I would do the fuck, I would do Joan Knows Best and I would play Melissa Rivers. Folks, let me put this in perspective. Folks, let me tell you something. Fifteen, million, you're a wonderful audience. Certainly, a lovely old lunch crowd. Oh, uh, I come out first. I, I mean, I don't. You know, there's times when I I I understand, and then there's times when I am really get I get really pissed at them. Not l- way less so now. Now we're just right. like it's basically normalized. Was it something? Was it a network? Was it something? No, it was not a network. It was so a, it wasn't the like network, the network. We went, were the fat. We were the golden goose, man. Like there was no, there was no all that stuff. When people could come, Central shut you guys down. I was like, look at what they fucking – their shows – the only shows they make money on are South Park, The Daily Show, and Colbert, which are the three most uh, uh, anti-authoritarian shows in the history of television. So the idea that they were somehow shutting us down I was told by Doug incorrect. Herzog that he called Barry Cat. Doug said, I have a $50 million check on my desk. I just need you to get him here to pick it up. Barry wasn't his manager. Well, that's where the fucking giant speed bump <laughs> in the chain Maybe of communication. Maybe that was the called the wrong guy. Um, what? So it was all right. So that's one giant piece of the puzzle cleared up. It wasn't yeah, the there network was all of a sudden. No meddling. Like, hey, here are your new writers. No, after and the, the dance for after us, the six episode of us going. Let's just show it to the audience. After we did a real world sketch that they had said beforehand was a scene of unfunny, a collection of unfunny scenes back to back, and then it just destroyed. And uh, and I got in a, uh, someone's face, and she was like, get away from me. Because I was like, fucking heard what you said about that fucking sketch. And you can thank me yeah, for getting for, over yeah. on that lady. <laughs> yeah. So, See? Yeah. So thank you for showing me that. Um, the uh, And then after that, they said, we don't understand your show. So you can pretty much do whatever you want. Within, I mean, like. It's like the Gene Domanian SNL years. Yeah. Chris, or whoever it was with Christopher Guest and. Martin Short. Imagine pitching Ed Grimley at a table. Yeah. Like, then I'm going to have my hair like this, and I'm going to go, oh, I love Pat Sagan. Yeah. I must say. Yeah. They'd go, well, there's no jokes. Yeah. No, I'm going to wear a funny shirt, and I'll pull yeah. my pants up. I love Pat Sagan. Oh, Sager. I must say. Yeah. Like, you yeah, never no, get that was, They said, like, we didn't, I mean, they would read you were scripts, the but Grimley after. Of- yeah, they just would go, like, we don't under, like, they, we were getting laughs, and they would say, this is a collection of unfunny scenes back to back. And then watch it kill. And literally they just go, okay, we don't understand. Like they wanted us to cut the blind white supremacist in half because SNL sketches were too long. They didn't understand that SNL sketches are all on one set. And that's why they seem long. If you're cutting to different locations and and you have a narrative, then it's a different game. So, so, but having said that, to their credit, they apologized at the end of the first season. So they're kind of the good guy. Uh, they, who? The network. Oh, yeah, they were, they, Chappelle actually said a couple weeks ago, like, they were good. And then he caught himself and was like, oh, well, no, they weren't. So what happens between, what season was it all over? Season, after season two. So what happened, I know his father passed away, and then you give a guy. his father passed away in 99. We didn't start the show till 04. All right, let me finish. Oh, no. So his father passed away way before. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah, 98, actually. Because in my need to somehow file this mail of this show, that, yeah. this cult, this iconic, yeah. like people from other countries eventually would have went, that's where they do like hot dogs, jazz, baseball, right. Chappelle show. Right, exactly. It was up there. Yeah. Uh, like, is it just Dave having a crisis of conscience? Is it just this thing that you still don't understand what happened? Uh, yeah, for lack of a better Here's what I'll say. I'll, I'll say being a symbol, it's as a black as a white comic, you can just kill and you're basically yourself. As a black comic, you kill and you are the representative for an entire race of people because white cultural understanding is so simplistic that they just go, "Oh, well, you know, Chris Rock said," and Flip, then that becomes yeah. the Flip fucking, Wilson's a nice yeah, guy. Like, you know, Spike Lee said. And so I think that it's a it's a it's a heavy crown to wear. Yeah. And I think uh the show went I mean it was like we were doing it just 
as like it's the difference between like hey i fucking we can pop this wheelie i I, i'm sure we can pop this we can fucking get over the we can jump 10 buses at a time and like they're like all right here's a little bit of money uh and then you do it and you're like fucking i knew we could fucking pop that fucking wheelie and you're fucking proud of each other and then once they go here's 50 million dollars pop that wheelie again and you're kind of like uh, a lot of, it turns out a lot of popping that wheelie was about fucking the idea that you didn't think we could. Right. And then once you, so I think that's part of the, the, you know, from being in showbiz, a lot of it is, and, and talking earlier about headlining and having people show up, I'm way less curious about it than I was three months ago. Now it'll be more, now I'm, I'm, uh, now I feel like I can do it. And now it'll just be about like, well, I just want to get the numbers. And yeah. I want to get my cut of the door. It's not like this. It's not so much a vision quest where it's like, I fucking, I'm this guy. I got to fight. Everybody shoot. counted me out. I got to wrestle shoot. <laughs> yeah. I got to fucking, I got to fucking, I'm going to fucking go into these towns. I'm going to do radio. I'm going to do, I'm going to overestimate. They're going to underestimate me. I'm going to crush the radio. I'm going to do, and then it, it stops being a narrative in your mind of like, of, of, uh, overcoming the odds. And it just becomes like, you're an industry. And it's like, it's way. I used to make fun of that idea. Like if most F, I used to if most was in a sketch, uh, if most and Dave were, did a scene together, I'd come out at the end and go, "Guys, great scene. Look, Hollywood called. They want you to play cops. <laughs> like that's the end game. That's the. That's yeah. like you realize like that all this shit you're aim. All, you realize you want all this approval from Hollywood, and then you get it, and you're like, "Hey, Hollywood, fuck you." How about that? Like, how about fuck? How about I don't agree with your value system. I don't agree with uh, most of what you make. I think most of what you make is shitty. I don't think you like this. Well, I don't. Then why not continue making what's good to counterbalance when you realize how shitty Hollywood is, and you finally got accepted into that club, and you realize this club sucks. Why am I in it? Why not go? You know what? I'm gonna keep fucking grinding out. You guys were bigger than Mash. Like, why yeah. not keep doing this great product to shove it in Hollywood's face for doubting you in the first place on the wheelie? Uh, cause just do wheelies all, just go to school on a wheelie. <laughs> just 24 non- 7 wheelie. Yes. That's what I'm uh, That is what I'm saying. Uh, because it's less fun when it's expected of you. Well, sure. I mean, again, dude, I was happily, I wanted to keep doing the show. I'm just trying to contextualize it. You don't say. Yeah. Like, uh, that's what, yeah, exactly. Uh, I was happy to do the show, but so, but there was also, you know, there was, there was a lot of personal shit and, uh, it was, but that's the sort of the, the, uh, the answer is it's just like, it's less, it's a non-answer though. Of, yes, it is a non-answer. And that, it is, only is, that what, is a non-answer because... And is that what you get from Dave as a non-answer? Look, I have my... No, you look! I have... Sorry. Uh, I have, like, it's, a, it's not a non-answer. It's like, it's way less fun to do something when it's expected of you than it is when it's not expected and you do, and no one, and you do it. It's like, it'll, it was way, it'll be way less fun to be Tim Tebow next year. Than it was this year. Yeah, because it'll be called Brady Quinn, folks. Um, uh, do you know what I mean? Like it's way less fun. It it that's part of yes. However, it's a fucking, John, the truth is it's a portfolio of reasons. It's it's a cocktail of reasons. That's one of them. Uh, you literally look. The you listener, don't have enough fucking megabytes on here for me to tell the whole. To no, the but listener, that is a long ass. All right, but to the listener listening to this podcast. There's a quarter of a million people right now going, who gives a fuck? You guys had it made. I, I, look, Not I, you, but yeah. I mean, you're uh, not the one that said, yeah, fuck this. The thing is, it's like, you know, that's part of, uh, so he, re- oh, God, sorry. part of Dave's appeal is like, you look at him and go, yeah, this guy could fucking go to Africa at any point. <laughs> Whether you realize it or not, part of what's appealing is like, oh, he doesn't, he's playing by a different set of rules. So he truly is. The fucking like 60s mentality, like fight the system, do it my way or the highway, and now I'm good. I'm tapping out. Like the- in yeah, in some ways, yeah, in yeah, like that. Bill, you see that Bill Withers documentary? No, called Still Bill. It's I. The minute I saw it, I was like, I texted you about like, have you seen this Bill? You would really love it. And he goes, Oh, I own it, and I love it. It's just about like he had a bunch of hit songs, and then he was just like, Ah, eh, I don't really want to. 
Oh, the other thing is you can't discount Dave made a lot of money. Does Dave did Dave really just not want to do it anymore? Do you think Dave on his farm in Ohio was going? You know, if I was still in the game, I would be pitching this. I'd be pitching that. I'd be doing. I'd probably be no. Doing I this think movie. that I think Dave on his farm. First of all, he spent a lot of time in New York and the Bay and out here. So it's like this idea of Dave on a tractor is a bit is a bit. Uh, I love overstated. my tractor, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a, a bit, old it's a bit Dave. Of a,